Welcome to the 14th Annual Critics' Choice Awards. I'm Christina Nardozzi with Real TV Films, and I have two friends of Real TV Films here from IOUSA. I have Patrick Creedon right here, and the wonderful David Walker, who is the star of IOUSA. Thanks for being here tonight and stopping with us. Tell me, David, Patrick, how does it feel when you made this movie? You didn't know what was going to happen. Now it's January 2009. Best documentary. How are you feeling tonight? When we started making the film, our friends said it was the worst idea they had ever heard for a film. A movie about the national debt? I mean, really? Um, unfortunately, it's, it's a very, very timely and important story right now. And um, we're very glad we made the film. It's, it's, it's a nonpartisan film. It's, it's fact-based. We're not really taking sides politically. We're just diagnosing this problem that our country has. And, and when we met David Walker a couple years ago, we realized he was a great person to sort of be the star of the film and to try to tell this film, to, to tell the story for us. And uh, so working together with him was really a thrill for us. Yeah, we were really ahead of the curve. The film obviously was yeah. almost prophetic because we were talking about an emerging problem that unfor unfortunately is much worse now. We're talking about trillion dollar deficits for several years in a row. The country's future is being mortgaged. We need to start making some tough choices in this country. We do, and you know, I would call you the fortune tellers, you know, coming now to 2009. And David, you did a great job being the storyteller. And how are you feeling tonight, being at the Critics' Choice Awards? Well, the weather's pretty good here, you know, and I didn't know I was going to be in the movie business, much less be nominated for some type of an award. So it's an honor just to be here, and it's nice to be here. But I'm on the red eye back to the East Coast tonight, so I won't be here very long. And you'll be in much colder weather. Yeah, he won't be at the late night parties tonight. He's going right back catching a plane tonight, so... Well, we hope you have a great night tonight. Now, tell me what else, Patrick. There's one little thing I want to leave you with, because I know some people get nervous when they hear numbers, and they don't like to hear numbers. But think about this. Two years ago, we had a $165 billion budget deficit. Is that right? 162. 162. Okay. Last year, we had a $455 billion budget deficit. Next year, we're looking at $1.2 trillion. Plus, because that doesn't count the stimulus program. Things are out of control. It's, we're, in, we're in a lot of trouble. Now, when, you, when you're in a tough financial times, it makes a lot of sense to run budget deficits. And, and I think if, if these are done right, they'll, they'll, they'll help us get back on track. But once we do that, we've got we to gotta get serious about the financial health of the country. And we just haven't done that for years, and we need to do it again. We do need to do it again. Do it again. And, and the, 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 what's great about working with Dave and the fact that he's the star of the film is very few people know the story as well as he does. Um, he was worked at the, uh, he was the Comptroller General for nine and a half years, uh, had, had 3,200 employees, worked very closely with Congress and the executive office uh, of the president. So, I mean, he knows the story extremely well. And um, he, the, the message that he's trying to spread is in our film, and that's why we're hoping a lot of people get to see it. Well, let's hope we make some tough choices sooner rather than later, and we're going to need to if we want our future to be better than our past. But it's fun tonight, so yeah. let's have a little fun. Yes, have fun tonight. And one last note here. Will there be an IOUSA 2? Ah, it's well, so we're early talking. to say. We're talking. We're talking. <laughs> Who, knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, well, we hope so. Hopefully that movie will have a happy ending. We'll, we'll see. That's what we need, a happy ending in 09. Well, Patrick and David, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Good luck tonight. You're going to win. I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> Bye. Good night.